Guys, so I was just making an image for the Wattpad story I'm making. For love sake, yes. I know it's my character, but I'm adding love sick scene. So like, you see, I am really good at shading and stuff. I'm really good at highlighting and stuff. But I did not expect to make so detailed blood. That looks real for me. That's so good. Okay, I'm going to dry you a bit. <gasps> I love this brush. I made a custom brush out of the clouds. So thickness of start, thickness of end, opacity of start, opacity of the end. That's it. Thickness of start, thickness of end, opacity of start, opacity of end. Obviously. I'm not adding it. I did not add anything. So, brush pattern, clouds, cotton. The spacing is none. It gets 1.00%. The pattern opacity is one, um, tw 20, 22.0%. The jitter position is 42. Jitter thickness is 100. Bitter jitter opacity is 0. Jitter spacing, 500. Jitter angle, 100%. And all that other stuff is going to stay the same. Shadow opacity is 0. Except if you want detailed blood. Like, like doing this. So like we're gonna just keep um adding random spots of red right there. Yes, that's so good. Now can I highlight it? Oh my god, I can highlight it. I can highlight the blood. That is so cool. Oh my god. I have never drawn detailed blood like that. Like, the only time I've actually drawn detailed blood without, like, making it look like that is, like, smearing it and stuff like that. I didn't detail it in that image. That's pretty cringe, honestly. Can I fix it? I can't. But, like, this, this is different. This is perfect blood. This is perfect blood. Wait, I don't think perfect blood is a thing. I mean, if it's perfectly red blood, I mean, that counts. But no, this is kind of like pinkish and stuff. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay, that just makes it look bad. Now I understand that. You can add a bit of red, but not too much red. Like, not too much actual red. And add more of the pinkish red. Like this red. This red. This red we need. Like, we, we don't need the other. We don't need the other. Like blood like this. Like we need that blood. We also need blood color this. Need blood color that. Yes, we need blood color that. Um, but we can also add oh, I'm a bit of red. Yeah. This is the problem. You're gonna walk in, stay there. <laughs> okay, pretend I'm a little What's going on? And I'm walking right Yay, let's go. Oh, I'm good at making blood now. Yeah. But I don't think that is something good to be good at. That is my character, but younger. Not my character now because she actually has a taste of fashion. Not really important, but I just wanted to make a video on this because I think it looked good. And also a bit of tutorial. Of dynamic speed thickness, speed opacity, speed blurring, pressure thickness, pressure opacity, and pressure blurring is all that. Min. Min thickness, 
and max sickness. Okay? Do that. If you can remember all of that, then that's how you make my brush. Also, the blur thing is optional, but I recommend no, no extra opacity because, you know, that would be cheating. Like, if you're making jamish blood, like, for Cookie Run characters, then this is what you do on Ibis Pay X. Except if you can't afford to. I mean, I do. Put it back in your mouth! I have no idea where she gets it. We can also add the, um, this brush. Like, the airbrush. You can use that, and then you, and there you go. You got, like, scary blood. Blood that looks real, basically. Like, it doesn't look like just, like, you literally were playing Splatoon, but... But it looked, but the color was red, dark red. Like, no, baby, that is what you need. Except if you're too lazy to do it, I can understand your pain. But uh, anyways, goodbye, and I hope you have a great night, day, afternoon, wherever you are. Bye. Oh, no.